Hey everyone, hey Ladenway. Uh so first of all, that is a great mohawk. I'm sorry it's gonna have to go so soon. Um but I'm responding basically to your video on is the atheist community dead? So I'm an atheist myself, but I definitely fall into the category of apathetic douchebag atheist, uh that you talk about. I mean I made a video a while back, um where I you know, that was about my apathism. Uh, so, I I just wanted to, I guess, defend my own position. I can't speak for any other apathetic douchebags, uh, but, you know, coming f where am I coming from, and why do I think the, athe the atheist community in itself isn't that important to me? Um, well, you know, some time ago, when I first became an atheist, I started going to atheist things and doing atheist activities, and engaging in, um, you know, in a bit of atheist activism, um, uh, but you know what I've quickly realized is that, quite honestly, the issues that atheists were involved in being activists for, I either saw them as issues that weren't really atheist, or as issues that I didn't really care about. Where they were issues that were trying to, you know, deconvert someone. Um, I wasn't really interested because I didn't really care. I really honestly don't care. You know, like I guess you kind of express in your video. I don't care if someone believes in God or not as long as they're not uh, batshit crazy and as long as they're not being bigoted towards other people based on their belief in God. Um, so, you know, that part of it, making people not believe in God, I didn't really care because I felt like it was a non-issue for me. The other thing was issues that were very important, like that don that charity not accepting the atheist donation, or um, or a lot of the kind of uh, religion-inspired, supposedly uh, prohibitions against gay marriage and whatever. Um, but to me, those were secular issues, not atheist issues. And secularism is not atheism. Um, and it's it's a much broader tent that includes religious people, many many religious people. Like you express yourself, you know, you find many many religious people out there that are perfectly rational. And as I've expressed before, I think they're irrational in one s small point, at least as I see the world, which is they believe in a god where I don't see the evidence. But aside from that, you know, th they can be and often are far more rational than a lot of atheists. I became disillusioned by basically, you know, getting exposed to a lot of um, atheists and atheists back and forth, and not necessarily being that impressed with with um, a lot of the a lot of the behaviors on display, or that interest in the issues. Um, so I just don't see why, you know, given the fact that I don't care about making people not believe in God, which is what atheism is about, uh, I should continue to strive for an atheist community. I'd rather strive for, uh, you know, a secular community, a community of uh, people that want to, you know, that want to be free thinkers, whether they're religious or not, and people that want to uh, be rationalists and believe in science and all of these things. And as long as that's the case, I really don't see uh, what the problem is. So I feel by having an atheist community, we're just really narrowing down the scope of the possible movement of like-minded people, especially when you consider that, you know, in America where there's a big problem, a lot of people identify don't identify themselves with uh, an organized religion, but they still they're still probably some kind of a deist, and you wind up alienating them for what I see as no good reason. Uh, and when you look at the places where religion has really lost all relevance, like the Scandinavian countries, uh, you know I think if you look closely, you don't see any big evidence that it was atheist activism that made any big headway there. It was just the erosion of religion as people, you know, as people were educated and felt less need for it because they were more secure and 
um, it just it faded, you know, in a lot of Europe. And I think that's the natural kind of way of doing it. And I don't think atheist activism is really uh, necessary or desirable or effective in bringing that about. I mean, I, I think back to an, an issue that came up here a while ago, which is ethics classes. So in Australia, we're, uh, I guess, we're, you know, we grew out of the British model. Um, and so in our, cons I think it's even in our constitution, there's... Um, the proviso that each school has to offer religious education and it used to be that you could opt out but then you would have to sit in a room and be silent so in New South Wales there was this push to have an alternative to religious education which would be ethics classes which would be secular they wouldn't be atheist classes they would be secular classes where you just learn about ethics um, and that to me was an issue that my local atheist group uh, was involved in campaigning for and various other atheist and secular organizations and uh, some churches that were progressive and other churches at first opposed it and then when they saw that it had broad popular support at this stage um, pretty much everyone except for like evangelical churches supported including the Anglican Church, the Catholic Church they both support the plan for ethics classes and they were implemented. The fact is, that was something that was uh, as part of that atheist group, but it wasn't atheist activism. And in the longer run, I just don't see why atheists should kind of uh, shudder themselves off in their own group. I, I uh, you know, un unless, unless the actual beliefs are really that important if you know if you really want to make people not believe in a god and that's a high priority then I guess it's important to have an atheist community to try to deconvert people um, but if that's not the goal if it's just the goal is to get people to be more reasonable to not try to restrict other people's freedoms and to generally not be dicks to one another I think that's a that's a shared project that atheists share with a lot of religious people and so I personally when I get involved in those issues I don't slap the atheist label on myself because I think first of all it's not productive but second of all I'm not doing that as an atheist I'm doing that I guess if you want to say as a humanist I'm doing that as a free thinker I'm doing that as a person who respects other people's rights not as an atheist and that's why I think whether the atheist community is dead or not doesn't really matter to me. That being said, um, what's what I do want, what I is very important to me, what I'm not apathetic towards at all, is the birthing of a new community. I guess you could call it humanist, although of course that's got the textbook definition, which some people might not agree with, but a new group of people that are against bigotry, that want to respect other people's uh, rights, that want to have a secular nation, that want to have secular schools, that want to give people the right to believe or not believe, and all of those things to me don't fall under the label atheism. So, you know, um, if atheism uh, dies as a movement, I don't mind. If progress, if ethical progress dies, then I mind a lot. So those are my thoughts on the death or not of the atheist movement. Um, you know, what, what I would hope wouldn't be that the atheist community dying or fading would lead to all those people just losing all interest and going away. It would just lead to it becoming more inclusive, uh, becoming less smug about being right, about everything just because they happen to probably be right about one thing, being a bit more humble, um, and, you know, going in that general direction. That that would be where I would want to see things go. Anyways, Church of SDFU, I'll see you guys all later.